almost the end of the day and I wanted to show you how they look forward to go to bed. It's a, a little routine that we have over here. <laughs> and now even the little babies figured out that they have to wait by the gate. Hi guys, how's it going? <coughs> it's just one of those days, huh? Clara was grazing. She had her weekend get away from her children who leave her a little bit more alone when <laughs> she's out. Okay, guys, it is time to go to bed. Yes, it is time to go to bed. How are you, Mocha? How's that belly? Oh, look at that big belly. Mm, it feels very bony. Let me see that belly. Look at her. She's starting to look a little bit more wide. <laughs> she is eating like a champion, so <laughs> she has her room inside pretty full right now. Hi, Mama. How are you? They're being this button. They put this gray paste, which I'm gonna buy for when I do them. I didn't order it, but when I do mochas, I do want to use that. It's like a spray. It's called uh, liquid van bandaid or something. It, 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 that's not the name, but that's basically what it is. Um, and they put like a very thin layer this time and it didn't last when they did the twins last year it lasted for a really long time hi sweet girls should we go to bed ay yeah yeah be nice to my children hi children oh i missed a cow my baby hi do be nice to her She's a tiny little girl. Look at that tiny little girl. Who oh, is so... Ay, Gaia, stop it. Stop, I love you, but you have to stop being mean to her, okay? She's too my little girl. <sighs> and I wants to fight with the dog. Oh, my baby. Hi, loves. Okay, should we go to bed? Okay, look, they know. Annie, what's up? Annabelle. Annabelle? Stop it. Annabelle is starting to show a little bit more. She does have some running there, so you can't really see, but she is barely starting to show. She is due in June. And all the chewing sounds that you hear in the background is usually them trying to eat this. Okay, shall we? All right, I'll go first. Okay. All right. Good girls. Come on, what am I missing in here? Clara's like, okay, I know where I have to go. Okay, come on. Good girly. Come on. Annie. Annie. Good girl. It's time to go night night. Okay. Now it's Clara's turn. Where does Clara sleep? Where do you sleep? Huh? Let's go find where you sleep. Okay. Let's go, children. Good girl. Yes, it's open, Mama. It's open. You can go in. Come on. Come on, little girl. You guys go all in there. You have to scoot over. Scoot, 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 scoot. Okay, everyone's in. I'm gonna get goodies for you guys, okay? Here's some food. Are jumping to eat with Clara. 
can't find the remote to turn on the lights. But Mr. Cow is over there trying to eat some alfalfa. This little girl, she jumps here and eats from there. And typically, Mr. White and Mr. Black are pretty smart, so they go under Clara and they start nursing. Right now it's her little girl and Mr. White. Mm, Mr. Black is right there. Right here. Now it's super dark. And they've been going for minerals pretty fast, really. So I've been adding a handful of minerals. their mineral feeders every night just to make sure that they're not lacking in. so anyways the girls do go to their house and their stalls early they do enjoy it they every do. time I go they're all laying down they are kind of cuddling and ready to sleep or they're eating they have fresh hay they have water they have minerals they had pellets there's nothing that they could possibly want if you want to keep super happy goats all you have to do is feed them and have everything clean for them like the water bucket be super clean and i assure you that they'll be happy goats so they stay there and as soon as it gets darkish i will put the dogs in after dinner after dog dinner not our dinner and then they will just go to bed no. And Clara was just laying down, but got up to feed all these children. You're a good mama. Yes, you are. And she looks even more <laughs> big now. Because as they nurse, they push up on her belly and Mocha is in such a terrible mood that her twins uh, as of recently are sleeping by themselves and now I think she's gonna go and play by them let's stay for a minute and see Apparently they they made some peace with each other. Mm -hmm. And they know that it's not time to come out. So they're all staying in. Even Auntie Annie was sleeping on the hay because of her hay feeder incident. Good night, Clara. You're such a good mom. You're seeding her minerals. I'm telling you, she's the smartest goat. Now, I don't really like to leave their door open that much because 
these trees are notorious for having raccoons like today there was a raccoon over there in that limb over there and he came all the way down and i'm not even kidding you he was the size of my border collie he got down and he went that way i think i showed you in another video there's a little house that they made the raccoons made in the back raccoons are getting to the point where i am not really feeling sorry for them if i happen to see them and um, <laughs> there's something i can do about it i will stop them i really have no patience for them and they've been lurking the goats and especially the ducks Thankfully, also is right by the ducks. So when he's around, they won't go near the duck pen. But at night, you can, I mean, you can hear the rattling of the fence because they're trying to get in. All I can say is that during the summer, the predators are really more controlled. And they're up in the mountains and not down here in the valley. Um, so can't wait for that I can't wait until they finally go away but it's still something that I have to figure out for next winter when they're gonna be more active now I share with you in another video at the story about the bear that was walking up our driveway in the middle of summer and decided to go behind the yurt to eat some blackberry branches we get all kinds of predators apparently and even bears who are super super loud i'm gonna take you over to the boys pen because well right now they just saw me so they're gonna come towards me but i'm gonna let them stay out a little bit longer today my husband has been mowing all day and we're taking care of our place and our neighbor's place that is I think three acres this place so he's been mowing and giving them fresh grass to eat and look at the beard it's a green beard isn't it look at these kids they've been drinking their kool-aid you're so cute and I'm gonna let them eat for a bit longer they really do enjoy when we mow and bring it to them i typically fight with them for or <laughs> over the grass clippings <laughs> with my husband because i rather put them in the garden they are awesome mulch with a bunch of nitrogen and you're so cute but you're so stinky my boy i can't really do a lot of petting right now i wish i could though because you're very very pretty <laughs> Hey, you're very, very pretty, 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 pretty boy, pretty, pretty, pretty boy. You two are a pretty boy. You're a sweet and sweet boy. Um, I think he, well, he is due for a copper. The time <laughs> I gave the copper to this two, who like to, um, be disgusting. Um, he was just a little baby so he hasn't had her first dose of copper and I've been reading quite a bit about it um, a lot of people think and share that you have to do it with a copper bolus can, gun and uh, I was watching this video where they were sharing a different way of getting their or feeding the copper to the goats without being in the minerals themselves and I thought it was genius uh, and she was pointing out the idea that it used to be like that that it was believed that with a copper bolus gun was the best way to do it so the study shows that uh, not really. It doesn't really last longer if you use a bolus gun that if you feed it to them and there's a certain way that this video was showing how to feed it to them. So I am not even going to try the gun this time. I don't know if they get the whole thing or once they start chewing it if you're not very good at it. I don't know how much they end up taking in 
and even if I have to do it, you know, every six months, as it states in this method of doing it without the gun, then I think that'd be a better idea, at least for me and my herd and what I'm planning. Taz is really showing some signs that he needs the copper and that he is losing a lot of hair because of the shedding for the spring. So I think it's it's the right time to do his selenium, hooves, and pretty much try to do all the maintenance. And I'll show that with you in another video and kind of keeping track of their health and um, all the things that we try to feed them. Ah, oh, you're so needy. You're so needy. And you have the prettiest blue eyes. You're gonna make some pretty blue eyed babies, I think. What do you think? I think you're gonna be a good, good sire. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Ay, ay, ay. Why do I let bugs do this to me, huh? Why? Mm, you, you're a weather, so I can do that. Too. Oh, those two. Cass has been a more, more defiant as of lately, and they've been fighting quite a lot. You're so cute, baby. You're so cute. Oh, so, so cute. They're getting a bath tomorrow, for sure. <laughs> You're getting a bath, and copper, and selenium, and lots of things. And you, my handsome boy, you do too, so you're too getting it, okay? Yes, I love you. You're a sweet, sweet boy. And you make the prettiest children. Yes, you do.